What's up? I decided to make a video about how I grabbed all my content from TikTok because I thought it was going to go down. These are the programs that I used. Axiom.ai plus YTDLP, which is an open source piece of software, and also an external downloader called ARIA2. Um, I've created a, a file, a JSON file, at WSH for Axiom. Download it for free. Grab, go over to the tool Axiom.ai, um, upload that Axiom, and then that will auto-select the div table that you need on a TikTok collection page. And then once you've made a spreadsheet of all your direct URLs to different TikToks, I think we're getting invaded by aliens, then I used a open source downloader, YTDLP, put them into a batch file called grab.txt. Then I point it at that file and then you use area two as an external downloader and it'll just go through that list batch by batch. I made this video very fast because I want people to get in, out, grab your content your content, you made it, you deserve to have it on your your own machine if you don't have it anymore because you pushed it in the hope that it will go into the cloud and it will always be there and if things get shut down then maybe it won't, so just a way to back things up. Peace! Quick walk around how I did it, cool little tool, axiom.ai, browser automation quickly without code, install the Chrome extension, uh, works with most browsers, you're going to need the URL to a collection. Now, you can't get to the collections from the desktop. You can get it from mobile. So what you have to do is you have to go into your collection. You have to publicly share it. And when you go into sharing, you can copy the link. And getting the link allows me to look at my collection here. So I have a collection for Web3, which in brackets has 19 videos in it. So what I can do, sorry about the background noise, always happens when you're trying to record another video. Uh, all I do is go over to the collection, click on the Axiom browser tab thing, and you're going to need to grab this from my Gumroad, which is a free download of JSON, which has the TikTok selector already selected in it. So you import this Axiom in and just gives you the functionality to find the div on that page. So if you look at this, these are, let me get rid of this. These are all obviously in divs, and when you hover over each one, if you see at the bottom, it gives you the URL, direct URL to the video. So what I'm basically doing is just using a scraper, which is the Axiom thing, to, oh shit, sorry, my bad, I've got to pop this out. I get confused with that sometimes. There you go. Uh, so I've got one set up here, but what you'll do is create one from scratch, so I'm just create a new automation and just start it blank and just look, put anything here. So let's just interact with page interface. What we're gonna do is go to the three buttons at the top, go to settings. We're actually gonna do share your automation and then you can import an automation. So wherever you're, wherever you put that file from here, the gun run file, you're just gonna bring that, bring that in and it will overwrite this, which is just a blank task anyway. I'm gonna show you the um, one that I've got here. So all it does is it gets a list gets a list of links to pages. So you see right now I've got my original one, which when I thought TikTok, TikTok was going down, I grabbed all my stuff. But you can do get current URL. So this is from the collection. Don't touch this select bit once you've used my um, downloaded JSON because it already selects the div. It's a very custom div, very difficult to select the page to go through and scrape each one. And then you want to make sure that the max, max results is higher than the number of videos that are in that group. And then all you have to do is run it at the top. It says running cloud. And then as long as you've linked everything up, so there's another step you have to do before you do this, which is to connect up your Google Sheet. I mean, you don't have to. You can cancel this step if you want and just display a message. That gives you two columns with the links in it. Once you've got that, if you did do the spreadsheet, you end up with a list of links like this. So these are all my videos that I wanted to grab. And then I literally copy those into a into a text file called grab.txt. And then I use YTDLP and point it to an external um, text file. So what it does is it runs through in batch. And then they're not very big files, so they don't take too long. They don't need to be chunked. But it's a good tool to have anyway, ARIA2, because it does like, oops, sorry, touched the mic, does like chunking uh, based on your connection and downloads stuff faster. 
So hopefully that was fairly straightforward. You can grab the JSON file from assetaday.gumro.com. You can find it on there, it's free. And uh, just want to make sure that you can download your, your videos that you've uploaded because they tend to not... When somebody says, oh, we're going to shut down TikTok, that, you know, they did it with Vine, and luckily I got in and managed to pull down years and years and years of my Vine videos. But I don't like it when centralized platforms just suddenly up and leave and you lose your stuff that you've, you know, you might want to look back on. Legacy is very important, you know. All right, I'll catch you soon. Take care. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a question. I'll try and get back to you.